My sister likes to sleep around with married men, and she was taunting the wife to come and beat her, but I was the one who got the trashing because we looked like twins and my parents were livid. Many people don't understand that there are people who likes to be the second and enjoy feeling that they can sleep with anyone, even with a forbidden one and my sister is that type of person. Since she was a teenager she flirted with her friends' boyfriends, she did it to measure her value with others, but she never flirted with any of my boyfriends, at least she has her limits. Now that she is older she likes to sl eat with married mans, for her it is better to receive gifts and fun without the pressure of being the wife, her words, we discussed this many times. At the end of the day it's all in self-esteem and ego problem that my sister has, she needs to know that she can get whatever she wants. I have no idea where my idiot sister is because she went on vacation with her friends, all I know is that I'm going to pull her hair out when I see her. My sister 28 and I go to the same university, although we are only 3 years apart we are almost identical and people always confuse us for twins. And today I suffered because of that resemblance we have because as soon as I left my university to go to my car, a lady threw herself on me to start dragging me by the hair while she was yelling at me a lot of things and insults. By pure instinct I also began to fight, honestly at that moment I thought that some homeless person had an attack of dementia or something. I pulled her by the hair until my friends separated her from me. The woman was crying and behind her two more women were with her and arguing with my friends. The woman was yelling at me that I am her husband's slut and I didn't understand anything about what was happening but at that moment my mind clicked because I know that my sister is dating an older man, she doesn't tell me much about him but she shows me the gifts he gives her. I told the woman that she was looking for my sister, basically, the people who were with her yelled at me that I must be just as slutty as my sister and tried to fight again. But the police approached us and it was all too messy. Now my scalp is full of scratches, my back is scraped by the asphalt and my hair hurts too much. And my sister doesn't answer my calls to explain what the hell she did before I tell my mother what happened. I know that if I tell my parents about this, they might even stop paying for my sister's education because it's not the first time she has done something like this. I'm going to tell them. Yes but first I need to talk with my sister. The humiliation of having been beaten up at my university for something I didn't do is too big. It gives me chills to think about coming back on Monday and that the people who saw us believe that I am to blame for that when my sister was the culprit. Poor woman, I do feel empathy for her but I didn't deserve that beating, my sister is not a good person at all so it's easy to see her in a situation like this. At least she should have asked my name before that. We ended up at the police station and I filed charges against her even though she apologized to me a lot when she calmed down a little bit. To be honest, her friends were worse than her in the sense of wanting to keep fighting when it was all over but anyway that doesn't justify that the fool hit the wrong person. For now I'm just going to wait for my sister to come back because I want to say everything with her presence so that she can't run away from our parents. It's not the first time my sister has messed with a married man. Update, my sister came back from her vacations a few days ago. I waited for her to come back because I didn't want her to run away from telling our parents what happened and I wanted her to be the one to tell them everything. My sister lives with our parents. So when she arrived I was already there. When my parents asked me what the hell happened to me I told them to wait for my sister to come to talk about it so they already knew that this was about her. Anyway, a few days ago the cheating. Man had sent a message to my sister telling her that his wife beat him and kicked him out of the house after she found out about his affair with my sister. The woman found my sister's egg and sent her messages telling her to stay away from her family because apparently the man took their kids to some of the dates with my sister and my sister, who is a big idiot, followed the fight with the woman insulting her, she showed me the chat and was clearly encouraging the woman to fight, calling her names, and that's how I ended up getting beaten. According to my sister, she didn't believe that the woman was really going to hit her but then I started to message her and she basically ignored me because didn't wanted to get that kind of stress and also because she knew she screwed up. I saw the messages she sent to that woman almost begging for a beating and I stopped feeling any kind of empathy for her, she's not a good person and never was. I was furious but but my mother was even more angry. It is not the first time that my family has been affected because of her sexual adventures, this time we did not lose money or friends but I was physically attacked which is worse. My sister justified herself by saying that she is single and has no responsibility for any marriage, but my mother told her that we all suffer because of her problematic behavior and that morally she's helping to ruin the lives of many because of her ego. It all ended with my sister throwing a tantrum like always and even blaming me for looking like her but this time my father kicked her out of the house with her things, I found it a little sad that my own parents apologized to me for their adult daughter's behavior. In the end of the day I feel sad to see my parents and other people because of her behavior. And about the woman, she contacted me the next day I got beaten and was really sorry, she said she would pay for any medical expenses but I'm fine. She sounded much calmer without her friends and, told me that she had never done anything like that but she felt a very strong hatred for my sister and her ex because of how they talked about her with the children. Although she sounded really regretful, a large part of me wanted her to kick my sister's ass, but that's not going to happen. Even if that doesn't make me a good person, I would have liked to see that.